Welcome to Atma and today we are learning the eyedropper tool in Photoshop and this is part 2. For the next option I'm gonna zoom in on the image so that you can see each and every pixel clearly. With sample size set to point sample it will select the color of just the pixel that I've clicked on. So if I click on this pixel it will select the color of just this pixel. If I click on this it will select only this color and so on. But if I increase the sample size to 3 by 3 average, it's gonna sample all the 3 by 3 pixels around the pixel that I've clicked on. So if I click on this pixel, it's gonna sample all the pixels that fall within the area of 3 by 3 around the clicked pixel. And then it's gonna average those colors and select it. You can see that the selected color is not the exact blue of the clicked pixel because it has sampled all the 3 by 3 pixels around it and averaged them. If I increase the sample size even more, say 5 by 5, it's gonna average all the pixels falling under 5 by 5 around the clicked pixel and then select it. You can see that the selected color getting more and more mix of yellow as the sampling area grows bigger. If I go to the extreme 101 by 101 average, the selected color is gonna get even more mix of yellow. Next we will learn about the sample layer option. This image consists of three layers. This is the ball layer. This is the rectangle layer. And this is the background layer. Right now layer sampling is set to all layers. So if I click on any part of the image, it's gonna sample and select color from all the three layers. But if I set it to current layer and then click on the image, it's not gonna select anything. That's because you need to select at least one layer to make it work. So let's select the balls layer. Now you will be able to select only the balls. It will neither select the background layer nor the rectangle. If you want to sample the color of the rectangle, you need to select the rectangle layer. And for the background, you need to select the background layer. Next we have the current and below. To show you this option, let me just select the rectangle layer. With this, I'll be able to select the rectangle layer, which is the current layer, and all the layers below the rectangle layer. In this document, we have only one layer below the current layer, the background layer, so we will be able to select that. But it won't allow me to sample the layers above the current layer, which is the pulse layer. So the current and below option basically lets you select the current layer and the layers below the current layer. But it won't select the layers above the current layer. Next is all layers, no adjustments. You don't need to worry about adjustment layers as of yet because I'm gonna cover that in another tutorial. But for this tutorial, I'm just gonna use an example. I'll create an invert adjustment layer from here. This is the invert adjustment layer in the layers panel and it does exactly what its name says. It inverts all the colors of the image. If I turn off and on the adjustment layer you can see how it has inverted all the colors. So with all layers no adjustments selected if I click on this it's not gonna select the orange color which is due to the adjustment layer. Instead it's gonna select the original blue color of the ball. And similarly, if I click on this, instead of selecting green, it's going to select the original pink color of the ball. Here as well, instead of sampling and selecting the pink color, which is due to the adjustment layer, it's going to sample and select the original green color of the rectangle. On the background as well, it's going to select the original yellow and not the blue. Next we have current and below with no adjustments. For this I'll select the rectangle layer. So it will select the color of the rectangle with 
no adjustments so green and it's also going to select all the layers below the current layer without the adjustment but right now we have only one layer the background layer so it's going to select the original yellow color of the background layer and not the blue but it's not going to select anything above the current or the rectangle layer so if you click on the balls we get nothing However, at this point with the adjustment layer on, if I select all layers, it's gonna select all the colors made by the adjustment layer. So if I click on the background, it's gonna select blue. If I click on the ball, it's gonna be orange. It's gonna select green over here and on the rectangle, it's gonna select pink. And this is all I have for this tutorial today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.